This is Jackie, and I'm here with Joelle Johnson at day two of Bonner. How are you doing so far? Keeping cool yet? I am fantastic because I did all three of my shows yesterday, so I just get to chill for the rest of the time. Are you here all weekend? I'm here all weekend. Leave Sunday morning. Well, Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. But you get to hang out in an air-conditioned tent for the most part. You get to perform in an air-conditioned tent. Yes, which was amazing because I'm bougie, and I like to be able to have the option. So you're bougie like me. You're not camping, are you? Oh my, my friends were like, oh, you're going to Bonnaroo? Are you camping? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> I have a hotel and a shuttle. I'm not camping, no. I have a, an actual bed with a pillow and a shower and a TV and a fridge. Toothbrush. Are you kidding me? Ooh, toothbrush. Yeah. So yes. needed. Good luck to the people that are camping. You guys are awesome. I just, I'm not um, that person. No, no, I'm not the person either. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't blame you. How does comedy fit into Bonnaroo here? I think since everybody's just on drugs that <laughs> comedy fits great because we're just all, who's not giggling? Everyone's, everyone's so happy. There are babies here and everyone's just, why would you bring your baby to Bonnaroo? I don't know, but everyone's doing their thing and people are just giggling like children. Someone's got to have the coolest baby. Like, it's a hipster thing, isn't it? Oh, completely. Black people would never bring their baby. It's too freaking hot. Absolutely not. No, it's too hot. But I, I love to see babies all the time. But it's great. I mean, comedy fits right in because people just want to laugh. And the comedy audience were awesome yesterday. Yeah. So um, I think it was Taylor Swift that has a song lyric that says, Band-Aids don't fix bullet holes. Uh, what is a musician that you would love to either parody or that you've been mistaken for in the past? Macy Gray, all the time. Um, I, people just, because I'm black with natural hair, so they'll just be like, Erica Badu, uh, NDRE. They'll just say whoever, which is hilariously racist. Um, but I love it. Uh, so, yeah. And I was once Macy Gray standing in a movie, so. Okay. So, got me paid. There you go. Yeah. Got me SAG eligible. That was cool. <laughs> nice. So, who are some comedians or musicians that you're excited to see? Uh, Jake Cole tonight, which is um, awesome. Andre Day, she's about to be on. We saw her at 3 o'clock in the morning at IHOP, I think. Uh, yeah, Andre Day, J. Cole, Vince Staples, uh, Judd Apatow and Friends, um, freaking all the people, Joyelle Johnson, she's amazing, and Aparna, I love her. And yeah, those are, those are the awesome people. Everyone's awesome. Everyone. Everyone is awesome here at Bonnaroo. Yeah. Um, how does a joke take shape for you? Is it something that you observe, something that you've experienced? How do, how do you go about writing a joke? It's all about experiences for me. I'm a storyteller, so I just relay. Because the way I kind of got it started was I would just be telling my friends something that happened to me, and they're dying laughing on the phone, like, could you please do something with this? And I'm like, is it funny? They're like, I'm crying right now. So that's how it is for me. You are a Jersey girl like myself. How did growing up in New Jersey, which is a state that's often made fun of in general. People are so disrespectful when you say you're from Jersey. They're like, I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> so many awesome people that came from New Jersey. Hello, are you kidding me? Um, who are we talking about? Bruce boss? Springsteen. The boss. Um, Queen Latifah. And that's my childhood idol. So Jersey Lauren Hill. I mean, the list goes on and on. I think I read, so sure. I think I read somewhere that Shaq was born in Jersey, although he's, he doesn't claim it. I mean, er, Ray Liotta, everybody who claims Jersey claims Jersey, and I claim Jersey. Absolutely. And it makes you tougher. Heck yeah. Hello, my family had no sympathy. For, my mother was from the projects in Brooklyn, so that in Jersey, zero sympathy. Uh, I've I've seen it, some of your some of your stand up, and you sort yes. of you you make jokes about. Um, dating apps mm -hmm. um there are so many dating apps out there are you a member of any of them either for personal use or comedic use it's both because <laughs> i really do want to date somebody like i want a boyfriend but my life is so ridiculous that it's very hard to fit one in and so i just go on dates for entertainment and i talk about them on stage and i'm like oh this is why i'm single but also it's making me money so lemonade Oh, so you actually go out on the date. Yeah, see. I want to date somebody, but they end up being ridiculous people that I meet. I just bring ridiculous people into my life, and I'm like, okay, I guess we're just going to talk about it on stage. I wonder if that's a Jersey thing. I, have, I, go, I, go, I go through the same stuff. I'm like, there's just so many ridiculous people. You have to just laugh at it. You have to just laugh at it and make a joke, and, you know, someday my prince will come, and he might manifest ridiculous, but I'll love him anyway. <laughs> Embrace the ridiculousness. Embrace You've uh, opened for Dave Chappelle and Hannibal Buress and yeah. all sorts of great people. How do you prepare to open for some of your idols? 
Uh, they're definitely my idols. I love watching them hours back to back. Hannibal, Dave, Maria Bamford, Liz Winstead, like all these people that I really look up to and preparing to open for them is actually cool because you know the audience is there for comedy. You know they're there and they're happy. And if you come out opening for their idol, they're like, oh, you must be cool because my idol says you're cool. So they're just happy. So I love, it's like taking candy from a baby. Peer pressure rocks. Oh my God, fucking opening for Hannibal and Maria, those audiences are just the happiest people. So yeah, no, it's great. I love it. Nice. Did you go to uh, the Reason Rally this year or you did in uh, the past? I went to the Reason Rally this past weekend in D.C. Didn't know it was an atheist rally. Got that surprise when we got there. But I met Bill Nye, the science guy, and which, I mean, talk about a rock star. Yeah, and I, and I live around rock stars. That is the, he's one of the nerdiest, I love him. He had to like congratulate, he had to meet his fans afterwards, it was crazy. Damn, did you find any reason there? I found, you, it was hilarious, we went to this atheist rally, Lady Parts Justice, uh, Liz said, my boss, I work for them. We went to this rally, we spoke, it was great, and then on the way back to New York, there was a rainbow over the Verrazano Bridge as we crossed, and we were like... Oh, God does exist, and the universe is there. And whether you call it God, whether you call it, it doesn't matter, but there's something there. It's a good sign. Yeah, it was, oh, it was so beautiful. And we we're all squealing like little girls in the car. It was great. Maybe there's hope for us yet. There is. I mean, even if Donald Trump does become president, we could still, you know. Then you're going to have a lot, of, a lot of things to write jokes about. Let's be real. I'm like, regardless if there's a female president or not. But I would love to go black female because those are the two things I identify with. So having those back to back for the first time in history is kind of awesome. What are all those 70-year-old white men going to do if that happens? I, they're going to go on <laughs> just the way black people go on and Jews go on. You guys are going to be all right. Newsflash from Joelle Johnson. Y'all are going to be all right. <laughs> okay. What's up next for you after Bonnaroo? Bonnaroo going to Los Angeles with Lady Parts Justice. We're doing a show at Largo. Um, that theater's awesome. We're going to be hanging out out there with Sarah Silverman. She's one of our supporters and just making videos against all these anti-choice douchebags. So Lady Parts Justice, that's, that's my gold uterus tattoo. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, I put that on a parna, put it on Jean Grey, like we're, we're soldiers. So that's our next step, Lady Parts Justice, Los Angeles. All right, taking over. Stay tuned for much more from Joelle Johnson. This is Jackie. Thanks to In the Key of Change and Chorus.fm.